Well, guys, I finally have something to show you. This is Caustic Bloom. Caustic Bloom is a top-down Metroidvania about a jellyfish. It's all about fighting mutated creatures and exploration. I started working on this project about a year ago. During that time, the game has gone through a number of iterations as well as an engine change, but that's a story for a different time. Throughout all of that, the primary features have remained the same. So, what sets Caustic Bloom apart? As I mentioned before, this is a top-down Metroidvania. As far as I can tell, there are only a handful of games that can claim that title, uh, one being Unsighted from 2021, another called Bloody Hell that came out just last year. I believe there's an untapped well of opportunity in this genre for people who enjoy top-down combat, as we've seen from so many roguelikes, but appreciate the progression and exploration you get from a Metroidvania. The game will feature an explorable map, not quite like any other that I've seen, and I'm excited to show you more about that in the future. In Caustic Bloom, you don't have a bunch of resources to manage like health and mana and ammo. You just have one, and that's jelly. As you fire off pieces of yourself at enemies, you make yourself smaller. As you collect more jelly, you get bigger. Get too small, and you die. And that's about it. There's a constant risk and reward to laying into enemies. You need to clear the room, but you also need to stay topped off with the jelly. This is also why you won't see any UI elements on the screen while you're playing. Everything you need to know is right on the screen in front of you. If you're small, you don't got a lot of jelly left. If you're big, you're full of jelly, and you're ready to go. The basic moveset includes shooting bullets, a melee attack, a dodge, and a block. It's a fairly simple moveset that is given depth by the ability to swap into different color modes. Each color has its own version of these moves, each with their own effects. For instance, firing bullets can look like the blob shot, a piercing laser attack, or a short-range flamethrower, depending on the mode you're in. There is another ability that I have planned that will expand this exponentially, but I'll talk about that in a future video. While this isn't a major aspect of the game, and you probably wouldn't even notice it on your first run through, one inherent issue with Metroidvanias is they lack a certain amount of replayability, just due to the way that they're structured. Once you find the double jump boots the first time, playing through the second time, you know exactly where they are, and you lose that sense of exploration. But what if that wasn't the case? What if the second time you play through, the double jump boots have moved? Or maybe the path that you would get to those double jump boots has been blocked by something, and you have to find a separate way around, maybe a way that wasn't open the round before. This is something I want to incorporate into this game because I think it'll add an extra layer of replayability to a genre that struggles, I think, with replayability. So, those are the primary mechanics of the game. What about the story? The story of Caustic Bloom picks up with our main character, Ted, who's a scientist working at a laboratory called Sarcophagus II. He wants nothing more than to earn the respect of his fellow coworkers and earn the heart of a particular coworker named Marie. Ted is working in a lab studying jellyfish when things start to go haywire. A gas fills the laboratory and everything begins to grow, mutate, and become very aggressive. He's attacked by his test subject, a jellyfish, and consumed. But this isn't the end for our hero. Ted opens his eyes to realize that he is in control of a new jellyfish body, and it is up to him to rescue Marie and his other new friends from this mess that he's gotten himself into. So far, I've added three enemies to the game, the first being a jewel weed plant, which launches its seeds in every direction, the second being a bombardier beetle that slowly advances on you while releasing shots of boiling acid, and finally a blob of goo that charges at you and explodes on contact. I'll be adding more enemies into the game in the future, but that's what I have for now. So, what's next? Juice. Juice, 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 juice. It's like he's not really the juice anymore. Gonna be cleaning things up and adding some juice to the game. When things are looking nice and sweet and sassy, I'll be updating you here on the YouTube channel. In the meantime, the Steam page for Caustic Bloom is now live as of today. So that means you can go click the link in the description and click add to wishlist. When you add it to wishlist, it helps the Steam algorithm a lot. So go ahead and click add to wishlist if you are interested in the game. You can also click on my website link down below to join my mailing list if you are interested in following the development of the game. Also, if you know of any other top-down Metroidvanias, leave a comment and thank you so much for watching.